late call. Just when we talk up her serve and say she hasn't had a problem with double faults, she opens the match with one, Pam. Don't tell me she's catching it. So after 20 years and however, at 20 <laughs> so years, the first time the women have the match second, they double fault, but follow it up with an ace. Now Serena practices her serve a whole lot more than most women. There's some reports in the practice court. She will spend 30, 45 minutes just hitting serves after a regular practice. Tell you what, she's got a little thicker tape job on her, her right wrist and, and hand than what you normally see. But less than Venus had on her leg this oh. afternoon. That's the most tape you'll ever see. It's very easy at the end of a long year to, to get tendonitis in the wrist as well. Hundred nine miles per hour and sink was just frozen. So what do you think of these rallies so far? A double fall and a couple of aces. Hey Serena will take it. <laughs> Much talk about that ranking of number two. Even if Serena wins this title, she cannot overtake Dinar Safina for the top ranking. Most recent U.S. Open title, of course, was last year, but before that, there was a drought for Serena. And such joy from Serena last year when she beat Yankovic. It was a tough straight set match. Um, Yankovic had all sorts of set points in the second set. And so many of Serena's majors have been over Venus in the finals. And I always felt that the celebration was muted. It was muted. It was able to let it all go last year on this court. Same thing for Venus, Pam. I think when she wins Wimbledon, when she beat Lindsay Davenport, saving match points, a much different celebration than when she beat Serena there. Okay. He serves setting up the winner. And I hold open this match. USOpenshop.org. Great way to browse and purchase US Open merchandise from the comfort of your home. T-shirts, hats, towels, all the stuff they sell out here, Plushy Meadows. You know, and you say sell out, you know, a lot of times I've noticed in the majors, T4s, T3s, T5s have been sold out. So I think online, yeah, I have a better chance. All those toddler sizes? Yeah. yeah. You got to get there pretty early at all the majors to grab that stuff. That's right. They get stuff going and quickly. It's all the parents having guilt that they're away from their kids, so they buy them all sorts of stuff. I, I'm not sure I'd get that one. That one's all right. Purple and black, that's... Uh, Serena's color tonight. First look at the lefty serve of Zink. Well, let's face it. If, if Zink's going to have any chance tonight, the lefty serve has to be as good as it can be. And that includes this wide one on the ad side. Find the sideline. How about just find the service box? Yeah, well. well, she can double quite a bit, Chris. In her last match, she had five aces, nine double faults. She's going to feel the pressure from Serena off the return.
She splits time between Budapest and here in New York City. Her brother attends Manhattan College, so she's very familiar with this city. The win in the opening round was her third here at the U.S. Open. Sink's actually been spending some time also in California working with Phil Dent, former Australian player, father of Taylor Dent. He's been working on some strategy with her on the serve. It's been her sort of base of operations this summer, hasn't it? It has. Didn't Taylor Dent have a nice win in the first round? Threw in four sets. Phil's son, of course. Serena trying to direct everything to the zinc backhand early on. But that's a shot that's been giving her a lot of trouble. She backs away from the forehand sometimes, doesn't stay down. She really has to focus a little bit on transferring her body weight into the court when she hits the forehand. journeyman out here against Federer a little while ago, Simon Groel, who seized his chance on the big stage, played the best tennis he's probably capable of playing. We, we wonder if Zink is capable of kind of rising up and challenging Serena in the same way. And, you know, sometimes I think the players have a hard time finding their game right away. We saw Federer's opponent tonight mm -hmm. feel his way into the match, get more comfortable, because let's face it, how many times have, have the lower-ranked players been out here? So. Hopefully for Sink, she'll get more comfortable with this atmosphere, but also Serena can start slowly and pick things up. And even though Serena's up to love, it's not like she's starting lightning quick. You showed up here as a 16-year-old and at the U.S. Open and and did really well. Mary Jo, I think, had a win here before her 15th birthday. What, what's it like the first time you walk out in, in the big stadium and, and and face a star? Well, for especially me, at night. Yeah. Well, for me, it was probably not to, superstar. Was never to love in the semis. That was not a night match, and I actually think that helped me to play this women's semis during the day is my first huge match. And then it was on Louis Armstrong. Mm -hmm. But Mary Jo, did you find there was something about playing at night here that you certainly got the butterflies going a little more? Absolutely. I played Chris Everett in my second U.S. Open on Armstrong, and I just remember being so nervous going up against my idol. And, you know, this is a tournament as an American you watch all the time. It's funny, I played Chris Everett in my first U.S. Open, too, but it was the finals, and I'll tell you what, I remember walking out there petrified, thinking I'd never played her before, it, it never, hardly been in a tour final, and I literally was petrified that I'd lose love and love. And then actually, when I got into the match, I wish I'd had the belief. That's the key forehand for Zink in this match, that she can not be blown back so far that she can't still take some control and find that loopy angle short to Serena's two-handed backhand. It is the shot that gave her trouble at Stanford, isn't it, Serena? Pulled off the court to the backhand side. I don't know what it is about lefties. There, there are very few righties that use their cross-court forehand the way lefties tend to use the forehand. And the same thing can be said with the out wide serve for a righty on the deuce side. A lefty just has used it better through tennis history on the ad side. Well, Footfall called. That was the big problem for Big Sister. Ten of them the other night. But none today. Mm -hmm. um, Venus really obviously stepped back. She corrected something that was going on with the foot the other day. Williams. 
So Serena off to a quick start. Williams leads three games to one.